everywhere around the world, people and companies are celebrating this. It's about being your true, authentic self. Hundreds flooded uptown near Montrose Avenue and Broadway for the annual Chicago Pride Parade. It's a great environment. We got great people. We got great city. We just great people. We love it over here. Vibrant colors filled the street with spectators flocking to watch the parade. Some people were watching from their apartment balconies. For Eli, this is their second time attending, which they say represents freedom. I have felt safer here than literally at any high school dance I've ever been to. The sweltering heat lasted a short period of time as a short storm rolled through, cooling people off. Yeah, it was too hot. Yeah. We all needed it. <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy stuff, right? And it seems like us in this generation, in this world, that we're just getting further and further away from God and his commandments and it's just getting more and more sexual and more and more wicked. But, um, you know, in this video, I'm here to discuss what you as a Christian can do about all this pride nonsense and pride mantras and pride whatever, what you can do about it. And secondly, I'm going to discuss what's most importantly, what God thinks about homosexuality and embracing your sexuality. That's what they love to call it. So, you know, I recently did a, a poll on my community post and I asked you guys, what do you guys think about Pride Month? And a resounding amount of you guys said that you feel annoyed about it. I mean, rightfully so. It's funny how, you know, this, is gonna, this agenda is being pushed onto children, onto everybody of all shapes and sizes. But the moment you try and preach God, or the moment you try and preach, you know, something different, it's you being hateful or better bigoted. That just shows you that you know, they die, that they hate, they hate the light and they love the darkness. But, you know, what can you do as a Christian if you know someone involved in, you know, Pride Month? I know a couple of people in, who are part of this community. Or you know someone, or not know of someone, but someone close to you is involved in it. The best thing you can do is show them love, show them kindness, show them what Christ actually stands for and what it actually means to be a Christian because a lot of these people in these communities have a, uh, you know, a perspective of how Christians are. We're very hateful, we're very bigoted, bigoted, and we don't like them. But no, if people actually get to see a reflection of Christ through you and get to understand where your love comes from, where your generosity comes from, where all the stuff comes from, that is, you know, the fruits of the Spirit, come from then they're gonna want to hear about the gospel and you know just keep praying for them that's the best thing you can do keep praying for people that are involved in this in this nonsense because it's it's leading them astray we want as many people on judgment day to be saved we want as many people on judgment day to be with the lord jesus christ and not be with the wicked one and perish at the end of the day we might feel annoyed by this agenda but we have to realize that there are people and souls at stake, and we mustn't let our feelings get in the way of preaching the gospel to, even to these people. Obviously, if they don't want to hear it, that's fine. The best we can do, the best thing we can do, is pray and just keep preaching the word. Someone will hear it, and that seed will be planted. So don't, so don't quit just because you seem like it's, it seems like it's going on deaf ears. Now, secondly, we're going to talk about what does God think about this whole Pride March nonsense and whatnot, or Pride Month. <clears throat> well, we're going to go back as far as the Old Testament. Back in the law of Moses, in Leviticus 18, verse 22, and it says, Thou shalt not love with mankind as, as with womankind, and is an abomination. So it's pretty clear. So if you're looking for anything in the New Testament, it's ad, it is actually written in the New Testament. And Paul writes this. <clears throat> in Romans 1, verse 26 to 27, and it says, For this cause God gave them up unto vile afflictions for... Even their women did change the natural use unto that which is against their nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one towards another. Men with men working that is which is unseemingly and receiving in themselves that recompense of the error that was met. So basically, they were, you know, do what we, what we see now, women with women and men with women. Men with men. <clears throat> And then again, it says in 1 Corinthians 
6 verse 6, verse 1 Corinthians 6, verse 6 to 10, it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous do not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, they need a fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, the infeminates, the infeminates, sorry guys, my reading again. Uh, thieves, covetousness, no drunkards, no revilers, no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So yeah, God's pretty clear with that. And you know, the sexual immoral could even be me going to go last of a woman. It doesn't have to explicitly me mean that oh, just gay people or just trans people. So God wants a relationship. Wants if we want it to be a man and a woman. Anything else is against His order. Otherwise. Why did he make Adam and Eve? You just made Adam and Steve as the old cliche saying goes. But again, guys, pray for these people. Pray for these people that are participating in this, as these are still lost souls. And also, guys, and also, you know, don't lose faith. As much as you're praying, you mustn't lose faith in our prayer. And also, show them love, show them kindness, and they will turn from their wicked ways. And no, not even the womb. Let's have, let's hope. For grace and mercy upon their life. So yeah, guys, if you appreciate this video, you love this video, check out this video right here where I discuss about how movies can ruin your relationship with God.